Hello everybody, this is Professor Frederick from the University of Memphis Horn Studio with a few hints on the All West Orchestra excerpt, Mendelssohn's Nocturne. Now this excerpt is pretty notorious for its difficulty in getting through the whole thing. So choose your tempo wisely. I wouldn't go any slower than quarter note equals 65. If you listen to a few recordings, you may hear some that are a bit slower than that but they're usually more old school and really slow. There's one in particular by Dennis Brain and the London Philharmonia, which goes so slow and it'd be really hard to get through that in an audition. So I'd recommend quarter note equals 65, anywhere from there up until about quarter equals 72. Now, of course, with any horn excerpt, this is gonna be true, but particularly with this one, we wanna think about the air and staying relaxed as much as you can. If you start to get tight throughout this excerpt, it's going to show in that tone and we want to keep everything nice and relaxed. So the other thing you want to think about is the rhythm, not necessarily the quarter notes and eighth notes. As long as you have a steady tempo, those will be apparent. But those dotted eighth sixteenth notes, ta ta ta, ya ta 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 ta, making sure that sixteenth note is right where it should be. So it feels almost like a fanfare, but a gentle fanfare. Then the other thing you might want to do to practice this is try it on natural horn. At the university here, we've got some valvectomy natural horns. So this is a F horn that used to have valves. They took the valves out and made a natural horn of it. At home, you can just put down your second valve and just stay on that. There are a few notes you have to change with your right hand in the bell, so they'll be a little bit funny sounding. So the B's and the F's, and then there's a few other notes as well. The A, the F sharp, the C sharp. You'll have to do some adjustments with those. But practicing it on natural horn will really help you prepare the air for getting through the whole thing. If you really want to make sure that you're just playing on that second valve, take out all your other valve slides carefully, put them on the floor by you, and just have that second valve there. Then you won't be tempted to play any other fingering. So use that as a tool, as a way to get the horn a little bit lighter to get through it that way. Then you can put the valve uh, slides back in and play through the whole thing and use the air the same way you did for the lighter horn. So think about those things as you play through it. And remember, don't go too slow with this. So happy practicing.